Programmable solenoid valve. What is required? 9 volt alkaline battery. Installing the solenoid valve. The programmable solenoid valve is fully watertight and will function even if installed permanently underwater at a depth of up to 1 meter, IP68 ingress protection. It can be installed in the open or in a valve box, positioned either horizontally or vertically. To ensure the control unit remains watertight, make certain that it is aligned with and fully inserted in its seat and that the transparent cover is securely screwed on with the seal properly positioned in its groove. Warning. Be certain to install the programmable solenoid valve observing the water flow direction indicated by the arrow flow. Fitting the battery. Unscrew the transparent cover Remove the control unit. Unscrew the cap of the battery housing and connect the battery, observing the correct polarity. Fit the battery inside the housing. Retighten the cap checking that the seal is positioned correctly in its seat. Align the control unit with the guide on the casing and fit it back into place. Retighten the transparent cover, checking that the seal is in its seat. Important! Use only 9 volt alkaline batteries. When fitting the battery, the display lights up for 2 seconds. The solenoid valve closes and the timer clock will be set automatically to 0000. Setting the current time. Pressing the button Enter, the message OK will appear. Set the current time using the forward and back key buttons. 9 o'clock, for example. Press Enter to confirm the setting. Daily Programming The timer is programmed using just three buttons with the aid of a wide display. Press the Forward button to view the start time at which the valve opens for program 1. Press Enter to change the time displayed. Use the forward and back key buttons to set the start time open. For example, 10.26 hours. Press Enter to confirm the setting. Press forward to view the closing time of the valve for program 1. Press Enter to change the time displayed. Use the forward and back key buttons to set the required closing time. Close. For example, 10.35 hours. Press Enter to confirm the setting. If subsequent programs are to be set, repeat the same procedure. Weekly programming. Press the forward key button repeatedly until the weekly programming page is displayed. Press enter to make changes to the weekly programming schedule. Number one is associated with the current day of the week on which the first watering program is to be set. 
If the current day is Thursday, for example, then 1 equals Thursday, 2 equals Friday, etc. Use the forward and back key buttons to position the cursor on the day of the week you wish to select. Press Enter to deactivate or reactivate watering for the selected day. The relative number disappears from the display. For example, 2 Friday and 5 Monday. To quit weekly programming, position the cursor under Exit and press Enter. Manual function. Press the forward key button to display the manual watering function. Press Enter to activate it. Pressing back, the timer valve opens. Whilst pressing forward, the valve will close. This function is useful for watering plants when required, without deleting the programs already stored. In any case, the valve will close automatically after 5 minutes. To quit the manual function before 5 minutes have elapsed, close the valve and press Enter. View Programs To display the stored programs, press the Forward or Back key button. Delete Programs to delete a program, press forward until the display shows the closed page for the program to be removed. Program 2, for example. Press Enter, then press the forward and back key buttons simultaneously. Clabber, the masters of water www.clabber.com